Okay, welcome back to part three on this F550 build. Today's episode starts with, we're gonna be painting this cab bow blue. So I'm gonna start doing some disassembly here. I gotta pull out the mirrors, all the trim. Uh, the headlights, I'm gonna yank those out. Probably pull the wipers off the front crown. You know, try to just start disassembling stuff. I think I'm gonna pull the door handles out. I normally don't, but I think I'm going to on this one. So we're gonna be painting this blue, you know, standard bow, bow blue here. And then that'll kind of wrap this up. We got paint. I got installed the beacon up top, which I have sitting in the cab, ready to go. And then graphics and some tooling and stuff like that. And then I got a couple adjustments to make to this back here. But uh, this will be the next big nut to crack. So we're going to get after it, start disassembling, and we'll get back to you when we're painting, probably this week sometime. A couple days, probably three days, it'll take to get this done. See ya. Okay, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon now. It's been a few hours. Just kind of been going at it slowly here. Making sure I got everything in order. I got the truck stripped down, grill off, headlights out, front fender flares out, emblems out, mirrors off, all the weather stripping off the doors. Got the cab lights off the top. Got the door handles out. All that sort of goodies here. The only left in is going to be these vents. I probably could pull them out if I wanted, but I'm not really worried about it back here behind the cab. Third brake light, cover out, everything's kind of ripped out, so we should have a really good time painting this thing. So I'm gonna get sanding, that's the next thing. Okay, back on the painting project, and it really went south yesterday. We're mixing this full epoxy primer. It's for aluminum, which is the truck's aluminum. Two parts, and it is so watery. When I sprayed it on yesterday, it made runs everywhere. So now we're re-sanding the truck again. Um, and we're gonna probably reapply the primer. I got a new gun. This is a Harbor Freight. It's like a hundred bucks. There's so a halfway decent one. And I must have been putting way too much primer through the gun. I need a lighter coat. So anyway, we'll, uh, we're gonna get this straightened out. Get some sanding done. We're already starting with the sanding getting all the ripples and stuff out and then we're going to shoot a primer again just for consistent coloring because once you put the blue on top of the gray you'll see the light through it if you don't cover it all so i'm going to cover it all and then we're going to paint it blue which is what i got in this can right here so all right let's get after it well we already started getting after it but let's all get after it Gonna start her off with a Timmy, of course. Always lubricate your air tools, especially these. They tell you to do it daily. I know I don't, but when I know I'm gonna be using it for a long time, it's really because this bottle's super old and nobody's ever used it. I want to get rid of it. Just put some oil in there. I have actually seen them improve. Now, you don't put oil in, in these things because then you just blow it right out the other side. But die grinders, saws, any uh, angle wrenches, air motors, you know, that kind of stuff. Dual action sanders, those all need to be oiled. There's our bed. Looks pretty good. How are you making out? We'll have to wipe it down and kind of look at it again. Yeah. And I have some 600 too. I have some 600 grit that we can do over top of it again. 
not a lot of dumb. Whoa. Apparently that thing said no. I got some 600 grit too. We can go over it again. Okay. If it's if you got it mostly done up there and you're just trying to do it real smooth, it's red. It's I'm just the red stuff's got the sticky back for those. I got some 600 like this, which I bought on accident, which is only good for like handwork. So okay. if you got it somewhat close, you can finish it off with the 600. Ah! Now that catastrophe is over, we're going to get ready to uh, reseal. So I actually have some leftover primer from yesterday. This is a Harbor Freight uh, disposable paint cup. It's got a little cap on it so you can seal it up, which worked great for this. So I'm not wasting any material. I'll give that a shake. We'll put it back in the gun. And we're going to reshoot this again. I'm going to take some extra time and dial in everything. So that's what we're working against right now. Okay, so here we are back on the paint job. We got it all primed, but we're gonna take a, another round of sanding. I'm just not happy with how this primer's laying down. It looks kind of orange peely. I don't know if you can tell in the camera. Oh, you can kind of see it right in here. It looks like kind of like an orange peel and if I don't take that off right now it's going to ruin everything else below it and you're going to see all of it. So we're going to do a little bit of wet sanding by hand just try to get this a little bit smoother for a better finish later on. Because like I said once I put the blue on top of this we're kind of screwed so we better take care of it right now. So that's what we're going to be working on is wet sanding and then cleaning again and hopefully base coat today. Let's just take a look at the rest of the truck. Got a professional lighting there. Old high bay light on a stick. That's what we got. Alright, time for paint now. We just went through and re-sanded everything with a wet sand. Touched up a couple spots that needed to be touched up. Got rid of most of the orange peels, so now we're going to go into the blue paint and, and roll with it. So we're mixing that up right now and we're going to get spraying.
You could probably make a five to five. Oh, you want five? Yeah. Okay. You make another one right now? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, here we go. Base coat's on. I have four coats of the blue. You kind of see it looks a little bit flat right now. This is how it lays on there. Came out really smooth. Actually, looks kind of factory looking compared to like a factory Ford. The texture of it, at least. So the next step now is we're going to be waiting for an hour for this to dry. And then we're going to start our clear coat. We're getting the gun clean right now. I'm going to take a break. And that coat right there took about an hour and 20 minutes. Four coats over top. I'll show you what the paint looks like because I know somebody's going to ask what color this is. We'll get that shine to it real soon. It'll actually be a little bit more vibrant once it's done. Pops a little bit more. A little bit, more, a little bit darker, I would say, once it's got the shine on there. So we have Mason full base. There's the code right there. Take a screenshot of it if you want. Two parts paint to one part reducer, full base reducer, 44.1. And then the next thing we're going into is just clear, which is four to one. Just cleaning the gun right now. And then we'll be back at it soon. Okay, about 4.40 now in the afternoon. We wet sanded the truck today. Reprimed it, sanded it again. Base coat and clear coat. So here's the end result. Look at that shine. That thing looks beautiful. This is one of my better paint jobs, I'd say. Besides the Freightliner I did last year, that was probably my best one yet. No runs. Really came out good. So that's that. So tomorrow... We're going to unmask it, kind of clean up the shop here, probably take all this canvas stuff down, get the truck back in order. But that'll probably be where that stops tomorrow, because I want to just let things tack up and dry real good. So, that was four coats of base coat and three coats of clear, which is overkill. So that's fine by me. So the hood came out really good, like no zebra stripes in it at all, like sometimes. We get with the blue, you get dark and light, dark and light. I think I put so many coats of paint on there that it eventually evened out. So, we're all done for today. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Thanks, man. Lots of activities going on around today, getting stuff finished up, hopefully, probably not, but getting things closer to being finished up and ready for the year. So here's the truck now, truck 19, all assembled. This is the swap hog truck, got the bed on there. You start to see stuff put, coming together, USDOTs, loosed in. This is our 40th anniversary this year, well, anniversary style. We gotta get all this done up. See, I'm starting to put decals on. I'm going to show you guys how I put them on. Here's my graphics right here. And the hood's up because the battery was dead from having the lights on while I was using it or working on it in the shop. So, recharge those up. Got everything kind of detailed up. Still going to detail the inside, clean all the glass and windows. But she's a full truck now. So, that's what she looks like. So, I'm going to show you how we put the graphics on. There's all this plywood and then there's screws somewhere. But uh I'm making this try to make a stud. Over here, there's a stud here, there's a stud here. What are they? I don't have my tape on me. I can see it through here. Alright, so you wanna try to tie it back. Maybe you put something here. Tie it into there. You know, like a stud in a wall in a house. Yeah, yeah, but you got like a metal screw? It's a metal, the studs are metal. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're not very thick, so that's why this shit falls off all the time, because there's nothing to really screw to. Or, ah, uh, no, that would shrink the thing down. What in the fuck is that? Right here. But then it would only be... 
I need a metal piercing. Yes, this it's metal behind us. How thick? I mean, it can't be that thick, it right? It can't be. You don't want to go. You might want to get uh, like one inch or so, inch and a quarter. One inch self tapper. Yeah. Just for that one. Yes, and then this will be just like a wood, a wood lag or something. Like this. It's an exterior wood screw. Yeah. Well, that would work. Huh? That would probably work, yeah, because the studs pain in the ass of fucking trailers. Where's Ralphie at? Is he near that? Man. Yeah, apparently wants to hire them. If they get the tour. He's got a pickup truck, so. Oh, so he's a real man, huh? Yeah. Shit. There she is. A couple more finishing details to finish up. Gotta get a hitch installed, maybe some more reflectors in the back. Got us all graphixed up. Came out real sharp. That twin, that truck is kind of a twin to that truck and then the other one's inside here right now. I'm getting some paint work done, some touch-up stuff on the body, but switch and go number three. Well, this is a swap log, but roll off number three, I guess. And everything painted up. Came out real good. So we're just getting started this year. Gotta finish up a few things. Finish detail on the cab. Yeah, pretty good.